it's actually really important that we trust people right now and also be more aware and discerning of who and what we trust at the same time. Right now, it's important that we trust our leaders and discern and understand who's operating in our best interest while we're being asked to kind of isolate and be on our own or be in our own little family units. We're also being called to be in community and rely on each other more. You know, like we, we, you may need your neighbor to deliver something to your house that you yourself have run out of or that you, you know, you don't have and um, to, to supply and support a need that you have. You know, we've got to be able to trust and rely on our neighbors. Um, we've got to believe that our government officials who are asking us to stay home or who are trying to manage this experience, this pandemic, that they're, whether it's exactly the way that we think they should or whether it's, you know, if, if, they, if we believe that they acted fast enough or not fast enough, the fact that they're doing the best that we can, we we get to be in a place of peace with that. Otherwise, we're just going to create more pain and resistance for ourselves. The question is, though, is how do we know who to trust and what to trust? And not to oversimplify the answer, yet I would uh, guide you back towards body wisdom. The brain wants validation. It actually requires something to settle on. The irony is is that as soon as it gets something to settle on or wrap itself around, there's a helicopter going over obviously. The irony is once it gets that thing to settle on or wrap itself around, it um, isn't satisfied still. It looks for a deeper understanding. It looks for the next step in the path, it's, it's always searching. It's always either looking for the next thing in the future that's going to bring maybe peace, maybe validation, maybe variety, whatever it is that we're craving in that moment, maybe security, maybe uh, you know confidence, or um, rev reveling in the past of you know what what we should have done differently or what you know what decision you should have made a week ago so that you'd be better prepared right now. But the body is right here. The only thing that the body needs is safety and presence. And when you're present and you tune in, then something that you're hearing or receiving as a message, be it from someone else or be it internally guided, there is a body wisdom. All of a sudden there's a greater sense of awareness the mind comes st becomes still, even if just for a second, you'll notice there's like space. In that one second, you're like, you're just with it. You're just with whatever you heard or whoever is talking. You're just right there, present. That's how you know what you're hearing is truth or not. And it's important that we learn to quiet the mind, to discern that so we can make better and rational decisions for what's required of us right now and going forward and so learn to tune in and to trust that body wisdom and practice with it too many of us if we've been conditioned to follow and listen to our let's say elders or those who appear to be in authority like our parental figures right if we've been conditioned to do that and we've been really good boys and girls then we'll take what we're being told at face value and that'll be it, and that's not always in our best interest. We'll, we'll, we'll tend to just follow and jump in line. But if we've been rebellious our whole life and have learned not to trust, then the opposite is true. We go deep into conspiracy theories and we're not trusting anybody and we start to meet with resistance and feel like we might be attacked or we might be um, you know, led astray and therefore we're overcautious. So either we're sheep following in line or we're overcautious. But neither of that is going to serve you at this time. It's really important you learn to discern and feel into that body wisdom 
more easily, more effortlessly, more quickly to attune. To recognize that when you hear something, your body will let you know. And if all of a sudden, again, there's greater spaciousness, you feel a greater sense of awareness, you're more present with whatever is saying, and your mind doesn't feel the need to escape, to run, to figure it out, there's a good chance what you're hearing is truth and you should trust it and then act accordingly. So I hope this supports you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear. Dallas Michael Sear, Igniting Your Purpose, Live Your Passion, Love Your Life. Now is the best time to do it, believe it or not.